Hi, this is Maya from RICO. I'm excited to announce RICO's upgrade to Relativity Server 2022. This video is the first in a series of several videos we'll send you, which outline the changes you'll see in our release coming this fall. I'm gonna cover the new Arrow user interface so you have the most relevant changes so that you can just hit the ground running as soon as we make this update. So taking it back, Here's Server 2021, wanted to show you the zones and tools to keep an eye out for that are changing. Your tools are not going away, they're just going to be reorganized. All right, and here it is. So Relativity did a bit of spring cleaning to give us a more modern look and feel with an intentional update in how colors used. And they moved the icons and tools into logical groupings or tucked them into drawers to, you know, really give you a clean, look and feel to the database. So going back to those colors, we're going to start with white. This is our new background. Um, you're going to see this in the browser and the document list, and it really allows our eyes to be drawn towards the darker colors for emphasis on the blue toolbars. So don't look for the shading anymore. Look for the blue. So here's the light blue. This gives us the drawers and menus where we locate many of the icons for the tools we use on a daily basis. Now this medium blue is where you're going to find our tab strip and some document navigation in the viewer. Dark blue is our buttons and links and icons. It's our action items, so coding, navigation tools, you know, things we can do in the database. Then finally, we've got orange. This is our active status items. So which browser or tab is open? Um, you know, where are you at? What filters are active? So forth. So popping into the core reviewer interface, we've got the same thing going on. Here, our coding layout, it's that white background, look for the blue. So the light blue around the viewer um, gives us more drawers and menus. That medium blue at the top, that gives us the document toolbars and navigation. And there's another drawer there at the document ID for additional um, actions you can take. Got your dark blue again. There's your buttons, navigation links, and icons. These are the things you can do, your coding choices. You're editing the view in the viewer. And finally, there's our active orange items, active viewer, active coding layout, and that required field there by responsive designation. So now that we are familiar with the colors, let's see the database in action. So we didn't lose any features. They've just been reorganized. Here's our search bar. You can see they've added a list of recent searches. And notice here that we have 200 items in our list. Now, the performance has received a really big boost in this version. So we can go ahead and add those extra items per page. It's not gonna bog us down anymore. So here's our folder, field tree, save searches, browser, same concept, and actually the same basic location. I'll show you how to move those around later. Um, there's your saved searches. They've made some nice additions. And here's how fast that search executes. It's a great boost. And again, we're still looking at 200 per list. So popping in there, all of your coding workflows are the same. You have your coding layouts, you get to check your boxes, and that blue, that dark blue, really pops. So shift your focus from looking for the gray to look for the blue, and you're gonna make a nice, easy transition with this new update. So taking it back, all those review workflows are the same, like I mentioned before. You can go into your review batches tab, check out your batches, you'll notice that the little Pencil icon is your edit icon, doing a little bit of icon normalization. And they have, they just really haven't removed anything. Um, this sidebar is very different, but all of your tabs are the same. And they've actually added a feature, even while trying to consolidate it into the smaller space, they've added the option for a third level of nesting, so you can organize in a more granular fashion. Now, if you still can't find your um, tab that you want to see, they added this menu here, the all tabs menu, and your tabs are alphabetical. This, I love this because I can never find anything. And of course, if um, all else fails, your quick nav is still there. The old trusty friend, you can type in documents, pop in, and pop back into that documents list to keep your review moving. Now, if you need a little more contrast, you can still turn the grid style on and off. Um, that will help separate the documents a little bit and give you that little bit of extra contrast. 
Now they have normalized the fonts and the spacing. Um, they made the spacing bigger and the font is consistent. So when you look across these different elements, um, it's not as jarring. So here's your icon consistency. You can see that it's the same as your coding layouts or your views that you want to edit, the little pencil icon instead of the word edit. So they've consolidated some of these core features. You've got your document list, your folders, your links, your browsers, and so forth. And I love this. This is cards. You can finally configure relativity the way you want. Obviously, you could move everything back to the way you're used to, um, but it gives you that extra little feature. We're going to have more information on cards later on. So here is your list of fields and look at the blue, it just pops. It really brings that calendar right out front. So look for the darker colors. Don't organize your perception of the database based on that gray anymore to find the categories. You're really looking for the blue. So there's your icons. Now they're cleaner. The icons are bigger, bolder, cleaner. You have less eye strain, it's great. Now, if you're knocking around these tabs, you can see that we have breadcrumbs. These breadcrumbs are giving us the location of where we are within the database. And if you need to find where you are, just pop up there. And then if you want to favorite anything, right there at the top is where to go to click your little star icon. So let's pop into the document viewer and you can see the same kind of changes. The typography and the spacing consistency continues. And we can see how these cards allow us to configure the database a bit differently. You can see the font and the spacing is bigger, less eye strain. You're not looking for those tiny little related items, um, icons anymore. Document history, boom, it's right there. Um, there are a couple of small icons, but not nearly as many. You can minimize that all the way down. You have those big fonts to see where your coding layout is to find it when you need it again. And here's your drawers, annotations for hidden content and contextual search. We're going to have another video on contextual search. When you search within your document, you have these little um, clips that pop up to show you the context of each term within your document. As always, you have your document list. Now it's on the left. So if you wanted to pop out your viewer into the second screen, you'd have a bunch of real estate to see your document list. And persistent highlight set updates. You can um, you have sticky recent searches. So when you navigate across documents, you still have your searches available across records. We're going to have a video about persistent highlight changes as well. Um, your images, you still have your thumbnails. So you can navigate into whichever page you want to see and some redaction changes. So instead of three menus, we now have two. We have redaction mode and we have redaction type. So they've consolidated it, they've cleaned it up and you'll find them in two menus now instead of just one. And then there's that doc ID menu for a few additional options. If you wanted to delete images and so forth, that's where you'll go. All of your other settings are still here. They're just in the cog icon now. So for instance, if you wanted to change your keyboard shortcuts or see what they are, you can show your tab strip. And this is where you can favorite individual documents. So that concludes our intro to the new Arrow user interface. Keep watching for more content from us for a more in-depth look at some of the new features. Um, we're going to talk about all of the document list updates, like configuring the sidebar and three levels of tab hierarchy and the all tabs menu. We're going to give you a viewer overview, like how to use and configure the cards, uh, new PDF options. We've got the PDF viewer and new options for document transformation. There's some search changes, inline editing for STRs, contextual search, updates to your saved searches. Then the processing additions, new error remediation workflow and file level republish. And then my favorite, active learning updates, check out the new precision metrics. So these are all videos that are going to come your way. So keep an eye out. Thank you so much for joining me today. Happy reviewing.